Good morning guys, just woke up in Kruger National Park. We're about to jump in the car and we're gonna drive through the national park some more for an hour and a half, so hopefully maybe see some more cool animals. I'm sure we will. And uh, then we're gonna do a border crossing. So I'm sure you see by the title of this video what country it is. Not really sure what to expect, but it uh, should be interesting to see a new country in Africa. Without any further ado, let's uh, jump on the road. Are we off? Guys, I don't know if you can see, but there's a couple rhinos through here. Check it out. Yeah. there we just saw hyenas and uh, another elephant pretty cool to see that rhino as well yeah so now we're going to leave Kruger National Park and we're gonna head down to the border of Swaziland so should be a good adventure hopefully the border crossing goes smoothly but we'll see how that goes Five, five, two, nine. Okay, so those shots you just saw, that was us arriving in Swaziland and now I've just met up with a local and she's taking me for a walk and showing me some uh, rock art. I'm not quite sure, but Milan, my friend's just waiting at the car, but somehow we ended up in the mountains of Swaziland, so we had to take, hello, we had to take like a seven kilometer dirt road drive to get to where we are so it's super remote check out the views though it's pretty beautiful let's see what we can come across how old are they 4,000 years old. 4,000 years? Yes. Wow. They live that place toward another place, so they will live a nomadic life. Okay, guys, so back from the little walk down the hill there to the rock art. Apparently it's 4,000 years old, as you heard uh, my guide there saying. She was 13 years old and she's been doing it for three years, so crazy. It was nice just to go for a walk and the, the hills was probably the most, my favorite part of it. You can see an epic view over in that direction. Anyway, I think we're going to jump in the car now and head south. So, let's do it. Sure. Okay, guys, so we just pulled over and there's a beautiful lake over here. So we're going to get the drone up, I think, and have a look around this area. So we arrived back at this hotel where we're staying tonight, uh, just outside the biggest city of Swaziland. 
It's actually changed its name recently to Eswahiti. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, the border crossing, I didn't actually talk about it earlier, but it was actually quite uh, straightforward, super easy. Um, just visa on arrival, no worries, uh, no charge for it, which was cool. We went to the rock art place. It wasn't anything overly special, but to see the, uh, the 4,000 year old art was really cool. And walking in the mountains, that was definitely something nice after driving a long time and things and then you see we drove down the road a bit more and we flew the drone and you saw the beautiful lake and uh, the roads and things just uh, as the sun was kind of on its way down which was super cool then we drove here obviously started the day in the cougar park with the amazing wildlife saw rhinos but yeah as you can see there's a lot of driving in this trip and things guys because we're covering so much ground it's really cool to see Sorry if it's not really conveying through the videos, but I'm seeing some incredible things. Uh, I hope some of the shots do it justice. Anyway guys, uh, I'm going to include tomorrow in today's video, so uh, I will see you in 3, 2... Alright guys, so it's the next morning. Today we're going to a private wildlife reserve, but we've still got to get through the rest of this country, Swaziland, and then cross over into that, so I'm so sure we'll see some more cool sights today. Let's get on the road. Alright guys, so we have just been driving for another few hours and uh, we've crossed the border back into South Africa. So just a brief stay in Swaziland, but now we have arrived at this massive dam with like epic views. It looks incredible. So I'm going to get the drone up and uh, try to get some shots of this. So hopefully uh, it's not too windy and you can get a view of this epic landscape because it's truly something like I've never seen. So. Let's check it out. So you can see that drone footage, it was pretty epic. We didn't really get to take the drone too far because of how windy it was. I thought I was gonna lose the drone a couple times there, but I managed to hold on to it and you could see that dam there was pretty huge in the side of the mountains. And you saw the cheetahs that we just saw. We drove uh, a few more hours and we've arrived in a place called Pinda Wildlife Reserve, which is uh, a private game reserve. So you saw the cheetahs there, that was unbelievable. Now we're gonna go on another game drive. So hopefully we'll see some more animals. So let's do it. that was an incredible two days you could see at the end there that was a pride of lions eating a giraffe which is incredible and it's just beyond words to see that in real life in the wild so absolutely incredible and uh, yeah just even if it was for a short time to see Swaziland it was a really interesting experience in a really nice country actually really laid back in the next video guys we're going to carry on uh, spend another day in the game park here and head south to the coast from there, we have more adventures in South Africa. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah.